Alex Lagina and Jack Begley have traveled 60 miles north to the Dawson print shop at the Nova Scotia School of Art and Design in the city of Halifax. They are meeting with Joe Landry, an expert in medieval bookbinding, who specializes in the study and restoration of ancient manuscripts. So we have what we think is parchment and what we think is leather from possibly a bookbinding. Okay. Where should we start? The parchment? Yeah, sure. So, so there you go. Mm. Yes, yes, this would be parchment. Yeah, this do you want is, to take a look yeah. at this? This is okay. some of the leather we found. Yeah, so this, this is uh, quite uh, typical of the vegetable, tanned leather, especially uh, calf or, or hide. This material lasts and lasts. I mean, the, one of the suppliers I use when I'm restoring medieval books uh, sort of guarantees his, his uh, Alan Todd skins for 2,000 years. Wow. We actually brought one more piece, though. And we were wondering if you could give us any information. This on might it. be kind of a long shot. Yeah, it's a purple piece of wood. Um, this, this is also, this color is very similar to an ink used in parchment. Whoa. This is from Egypt. How old is this scroll? About 2,000 years. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the blue is you know, the Tyrian blue, the royal blue that the church and the royalty would use. It was quite literally worth its weight in gold, so it was, wasn't commonly mm -hmm. well, used, but it's amazing how similar the colors are. Yeah. Although I feel it might be more likely from a, you know, a vegetable source like a rich red wine, I think. How often was this color purple used? Well, just in important uh, church documents and royal, you know, documents. Hey, you're kidding, right? Only for important church and royal documents? That's right. Yeah. Dating back over 3,500 years to the ancient Phoenicians, the production of purple dye was so time-consuming and costly that it was reserved for and became synonymous with royalty. In fact, in the Middle Ages, so-called sumptuary laws restricted the use of purple dyes to those in the aristocracy. Could the presence of this purple wood, along with parchment and leather bookbinding, be evidence that important historical or religious documents are buried deep in the money pit? If this was a, a book board and it was covered with uh, this ecclesiastical purple leather and it got west, there could be staining. So wait, hold on. <laughs> that seems important. This, there's leather that's dyed this color. There is, yeah. And we have leather, wood, and parchment. You, you said that there's leather stained that color. Is it possible that this wood is an analog for this wood here? The thickness is about right for a book, book board. In combination, this is the most exciting. That's, that is true. Because if, yeah. without this, that could be a shoe. And without these, this isn't going to tell us as much as, as we want to know. Of course, things just keep getting more interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's the nature of the game, isn't it? You never know what's going to show up next week. We'll get out of your hair. Thank you guys very much. Bye-bye now. Bye.